Question number four will predominantly focus on rotation and its effect on the way we observe the night sky throughout the year, or years. This subject could easily merge into the effect of stellar parallax, but that topic will be addressed in a future fanboy question. First, let's remind ourselves of the amazing speeds that we are supposedly traversing the ever-expanding universe. As per usual, we will take our information from Ripley's Believe It or Not, as we all know, it's a perfectly sound and reliable source of information. We are spinning at 1,040 kilometers per hour. We're spinning around the sun at 108,000 kilometers per hour. The sun is spinning around the galaxy at 720,000 kilometers per hour. The galaxy is spinning around the black hole at 828,000 kilometers per hour. The galaxy is heading towards the Great Attractor at 220 kilometers per second. And the universe is expanding at the rate of some ridiculous speed. Oh, and sorry, I forgot that we're also tilted on our axis. This is one hell of a roller coaster ride we're on. Excuse me while I just finish my balancing stone sculpture. Anyway, back to the question. Every 24 hours, we revolve around to the same position and we can see the very same stars and constellations in the sky. Oh wait, we're also spinning around the sun. Every year, we revolve around the sun and we can see the very same stars and the... Oh, hold on a minute. We're also spinning around the galaxy. Every few thousand years, we revolve around the... Damn, I forgot the bloody black hole bit. Every... Oh, hang on a minute. 50,000 plus 8 billion carry the one times 32 to the power of 78 equals every god knows how long we revolve around oh, shit i forgot we're also whizzing towards that great attractor thingy uh, every bob dillion years or so we revolve i'll oh, sod it okay fanboys answer me this why do we see the same stars in the same positions in the same constellations year in year out for millennia when you say that we're traveling at ever increasing speeds in at least six different directions in a universe that's constantly expanding outwards into nothing how is this remotely possible space busters the channel that makes you think for yourselves.